I'm going to demonstrate a running subcuticular stitch. There's different ways to throw the knots, but I like to start with a buried knot close to the skin edge, which is where you start deep. You come out right below the epidermis. To change the way I hold the instrument for here, go back in just below the epidermis, back to deep. So this is the same as what we just did, and you're going to tie a knot. Now, if you were doing an interrupted, you would cut both of these sutures off. But since we're not doing an interrupted, uh, we want to leave the needle end intact. So we're just going to cut the end without the needle. Now that we've buried that knot, our knot is deep, which means that this suture is coming from deep. So we have to once again start deep and then come back out to our superficial plane, once again, right below the epidermis within the dermis. Now our suture will be coming out at the level of the subcuticular plane. So as we run this, you want to go back in at that same level and you want to try to go in 90 degrees, rotate back, grab some tissue. You see the tip was coming out. The tip's going to come out further down and so you're in that dermal area. You can stabilize this. This tissue's stickier than normal tissue so it might be a little bit easier and harder in the same thing. And you're just going to continue to do the same thing. So you want to kind of go across right where you came out. You're going to go into this, rotate, come back out at just below the skin edge. Hold this up, go in at the skin edge. Now what I see often is people want to do this. They want to skive. You want to try to get this to go in somewhat uh, perpendicular, rotate, so you actually get some tissue, come back out at the skin edge. As we approach the end, you're going to start thinking about when you need to tie your knot. So we still have a bit of incision on this side, so I think I have the ability to throw one more stitch on this side and then I'll show you. So I'm going to try to do a little bit of a 90 degree, rotate out at the skin edge. Okay, so at this point, you have this coming out superficial, everything superficial. We want our knot to be deep, so I'm going to come over here and pretend like we're doing the second half of that buried suture. You're going to come in just below the skin edge. You're going to come out deep in the wound. Now what I like to do here, and this may be a little different, but I'm going to show you the way I do it. There's a lot of ways to skin the cat. This, this stitch is coming from deep. These two are coming from superficial. So if I tied this together right now, which I could and a lot of people do, but my knot would be have two anchors in superficial and one in deep. So what I like to do is grab a whole bite that's just deep. You see that's all deep. It's all in the dermis. Nothing's right up at the skin edge. And I pull that through. Now all three of my sutures are coming from deep. So then we can do what we call a French knot. And I'll show you this and you can do it. We use two fingers to kind of make a loop here. We're going to grab this suture inside of the loop and I hold on to the needle. I never let go of this. And I just pull the bottom part of it until it pulls that down. Hold this open. Pull this through there. Pull the bottom until it comes down. I'm going to do this about three or four times. And then when I'm like, okay, I've done three or four knots, instead of holding this the whole time, I'm going to pull the whole needle through that loop and that's the end of my knot. Now, in order to make the knot go down where we know it's anchored, i.e. to bury the knot, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to stick this down where I know that knot needs to go and I'm going to come out somewhere beyond the incision. And that will bury the knot. And then you'll hold this up and just cut it flush with the skin. Maybe. There we go. And then you have your whole closed buried suture. That's a subcuticular closure.